up, everybody? It's your favorite exclusive box sets, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Battle of Endor Black Series SDCC turned has CC or whatever it is box set. We have a lot to go over here because it's four figures, and I'm anxious to put them in the diorama. I built the diorama with the expectation of getting this set, and I got the premium membership so I could get this set. And little backstory: I bought my set, hadn't received any word on them. My buddy Pinkerton ended up getting his set. I emailed Hasbro to kind of figure out what was going on with it, and within 24 hours. I got shipping notices on this and the Hellfire Club. So weird, right? Would you agree? I'm taking a beating these days in customer service, but that's all right. Boy's gonna come out on top. Give me some time. Get on the grind. But with that, let's start. We'll go through figure by figure and talk about the corresponding accessories. So Han Solo, of course, that's where we're gonna start. He comes with his signature blaster. We do have brown on the pistol grip, and then we have silver on the muzzle. It would have been nice to have a wash on there, but otherwise looks pretty good. He can hold it just fine. And it'll fit in this holster here. It does have that plastic tab button thing. I hate that, but that's what it's got. He also comes with his trench coat. It is all kind of folded up in the bag, so we'll see how well it kind of deploys, for lack of a better term. It doesn't look great, you know? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll probably keep my eye out on the secondary market for custom ones, but... um. Like, it looks like the stitch work. Like, that doesn't look like a collar. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't look like a collar at all. It's probably why they put it in the bag. But yeah, he does come with it, and the camo looks nice on it. And look, it's not terrible, but it's not right. You know? But it's not, it's not as hateful as I would have expected. It looks weird. It looks weird. It looks really weird. It doesn't look like Harrison Ford at all. But it kind of looks like him from the side. Like, they did a pretty good job there. There's also a piece, like, where his hair, you see it's, like, doesn't sit quite flush against his head. I'm not sure if that's what's doing it, but his head looks weird. The face paint on there looks weird as well because it doesn't look like him. It's strange. He does have the 5 o'clock shadow mustache. That's cool. And then the hair is dry brushed. That's cool. And from certain angles, it looks like Solo, but it doesn't look like him, generally speaking. So that's a bit of a bummer. Head is a double ball peg from the head into the neck and then a single from the neck into the chest. So that's nice. And the articulation works well on it. I've talked about them not really understanding what they're doing here. It's getting better. The backward movement is there. Forward movement, getting there. It looks a little awkward. And then we have the swivel, little swagger, no issues. I dig that. All right. We have a single ball peg from the chest into the abdomen and we have mispainted paint on my shirt, which sucks. I should get rid of that. Um, it's pretty effective, though. You get down to there, a good bit back. You get your swivel, obviously, a little bit of a teapot. So that's pretty cool. Nice sculpt work, and then the wrinkles and such, all that looks good as well. The vest looks good, appropriate, hangs over top nicely. No issues there. And then the flesh is painted on, the flesh tone. And then we have the belt, and I'm guessing it's all brown plastic, or is that a separate piece that's glued in? I'm guessing a separate piece. All right, interesting enough. Silver paint there, brown paint on the buckle. Hmm. All right, disc hinge for the shoulder. Get you up to there. Swivel around. Where it goes in is a ball peg, but it doesn't have the um, butterfly option on this one. We do have the new elbows. I've already kind of made my stance clear on these. I'm not crazy about them. Some people like them, some people don't. You get past 90 degrees, though, so that's nice. I do like them more than the knees, for what it's worth. And then you get your bicep swivel there as well. Once again, nice sculpting in the shirt, nice bagginess, looks pretty good. Wrist, swivel, and a hinge in out on this holding hand. And then we have a trigger finger hand. We only have one accessory. You know how I feel about that. Articulation-wise, it's the same on the other side. We have the floating belt piece, and it's glued in to the leg here. I'm guessing they reused the lower legs from the original because they have the old knees, but I'm not sure. And I don't have the original anymore. I think I gave it to my kids. I'm not 100% sure. But it's um, it's also a little warpage there. You see that, right? Which is a bummer. But T-jointed ball joints for hips, they get you out to there, forward and back to there. We have silver painted on the floating belt and black painted on the side there. Silver all on the back. Perfect and sharp. Yellow paint stripes down the sides. Looks pretty good. A couple places it gets a little wonky, but for the most part, it's all right. And this belt has a black wash on it, which also looks good. 
We have a thigh swivel and a cut joint on both sides. The strap is painted on there, and we have double jointed knees with a good run. Not the prettiest, but you get the articulation. And then we have the boots that are textured and look pretty good. And it's a glossy finish on the boots, but it's a flat on the shoe. So that's like, what are you doing? You're so close. Just finish it off right. You know, what are you doing? And you get an ankle tilt up on a disc hinge, an ankle tilt down, and where it pegs, in, pegs into the foot, you get a rocker. So that works well. Just a couple little odd choices along the way for this guy. She comes with her signature kind of blaster and it's nice black plastic. Some dry brushing would have been nice on it. Silver on the muzzle. She can hold that just fine. She also has a holster underneath her poncho that'll holster the weapon fine as well. She comes with the helmet as well. It's similar to Luke's. We'll spend a little bit more time on it when we get to Luke's because it's kind of done the same way. Numerous paint apps and a decent sculpt. And it looks pretty good on her, honestly. I, I was a bit concerned. Uh, much like the trench coat, it's, it's surprisingly better than I thought. Not perfect, but better than I thought it would be. And we'll move on to Leia. And they nail her face. Definitely the best face of the set. The hair is sculpted well. The face is painted well. It's sculpted well. I got a little bit of smudge of paint on the face, but otherwise good to go. They also did the kind of shirt and stuff underneath. We'll take a quick look at it. I wonder if without ripping it, I don't know if you can take it off. I'm not entirely sure on that. Let's see. It doesn't appear to be a way. No, there you can. You can. So you can take the poncho off if you'd like. I think I'm going to leave hers on. Um, I might buy a second set of these when they come out individually. Um, I have a plan. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. Anyway, disc hinge on the shoulder gets you up to there. 90 degrees down, forward, and back. We'll just do the arms and stuff now because we're looking at it. And then we have the paint system that's this, I think it's cast in this base beige, and then the green is painted on. It's my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it looks good. Uh, elbows get to 90 degrees on a single hinge. That's also where you get your bicep swivel. You get a wrist swivel and a hinge up down. Looks to be pretty much flat uh, green for her shirt. And then the collar is painted. She also has the watch, which is cool. Something I never noticed that she was wearing until I got the hot toys, but apparently she is. All right. Holsters on there. And like I said, the belt you can undo and it has come undone. Oh, lordy, lordy, look who's 40. Let's take this. Let's just take it off now at this point. Um, yeah, whew. I don't know. It's a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. The, the camouflage pattern looks great. All right, on to her. Yeah, I don't know. Never, maybe I won't buy. I say, I, you know, with the belt on, with the belt on, let's try it. With the belt on, it may not be bad. I feel like I'm scatterbrained on this review. It's all right. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, good. So the head is on a double ball peg from the head into the neck, single from the neck into the chest. Using both, you can get the head down to there, up to there, the swivel, confused dog look, etc. The beige is painted on the green, and then you have the little placard there on her um, chest. Belt looks good with the gold, I mean, with the silver painted uh, buckle. And we've already talked about the arms. We have T-jointed ball joints for hips. Full Van Damme, no problem. And forward and back to there. So pretty well articulated. And we have a thigh swivel. It's um, decent enough sculpt work. The proportions are a little wonky. That's for the belt. And then we have the yellow paint down the leg. A little bit of a diaper butt going on. Uh, Solo kind of has it a bit, too. Something I'm going to keep my eye on now. Thigh swivel at a cut joint, single hinge knee with the new knee, get you a little bit past 90 degrees, and you'll also get a swivel. And then we have the boots that are painted, ankle tilt up on a disc hinge, down, actually the ankle tilt up is like ever so slight, and then down, and then a rocker where it pegs into the foot, and the bottom of the shoe is painted, and then we have the kind of um, nice sculpting and texturing of the boots themselves. So yeah, it actually, it ends up growing on me the more I look at it. I was a little worried when we took the poncho off. There is something a little odd proportionately about this, but ultimately I think it does work. I could take a magic eraser to that, try to get that off of there, but yeah. Single ball peg for the chest. Oh, look at that. It's a lot of movement there. You do get your swivel forward and back, side to side, slippity slide. 
Yeah, I think this one's probably the most efficient of the set. Not bad at all. Um, just a little weird with when the belt's off. Let's take another look. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> they had to know that looked dumb. But I guess, you know, they, who's going to wear it without the belt? I mean, who's going to have it without the belt? But look how weird that is. Very strange. It's like she's got on somebody's blow-up pants or like she's got ski pants on. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good-looking figure with the poncho and everything. It works, but like when you start to see how it works, like when you see how the sausage is made, it starts to get a little strange. As for Luke, he comes with his trusty lightsaber, and it's all bent to pieces. Uh, so like not only is it a you know a thinner sculpt here, we have silver and gold painted on, but um, the actual blade is bent up too. So. You know, that's one of the issues I have with this company and, and their quality of materials when they try to extrapolate it to um, very thin things. It, it rarely works out in their favor, in my opinion. Uh, and I want a white rod through the center with green translucent around it, but you already knew that. But he will hold it just fine. And as you saw in the opening footage, you can even get both arms in front to hold it with both hands. So that's nice. He also comes with this helmet, and we have the olive green painted on, this flat tan. We have the darker brown painted on. We have the yellow and red painted on, silver kind of weathering on it. It all looks decent enough and fits around his head just fine, which is a good thing because the curse of Mark Hamill strikes again, and his face looks terrible. Doesn't look anything remotely close to him. Once again, they can't get his head right, so to speak, to save their life. Horrendous. Um, the poncho looks great. The colors between the brown and the beige and the olive green looks fantastic. The hair sculpt is supposed to fit in the hat, so I get it. This is one of the worst head sculpts, though, of Luke Skywalker I've seen in recent times. This might just be a reworking of him in the black suit i wouldn't know because i don't have my black suit skywalker any longer but his head is on a ball peg the ball peg is on a hinge you get back to there forward to there in a swivel a little bit of attitude not much a single ball peg in the waist this belt does come come off oh, let's just take it off it makes it look and need to figure easier and Decent enough range, plus the swivel, forward, back, teapot. Disc hinge for the shoulder, gets you up past 90 degrees. And because it's a slender body, that's what lets you get the arm so far, like in front of the, the chest. So that all works well. Decent enough sculpt work. Swivel around, elbow, single hinge, less than 90. Wrist, swivel, hinge, and out. You get your bicep swivel there as well. Obviously, one black hand and one beige or um, beige uh, flesh tone hand, and uh, you know which is appropriate. Uh, okay, T jointed ball joints for hips get you out to there, forward and back to there. So not the best thigh swivel, double jointed knee with the old knees. I'm guessing this is the old mold. If I had it, I would get it out. We could take a look at it, and then we have the glossy boots, which is a nice touch. And the shoes even look pretty glossy, so that's okay. And then we have an ankle tilt up, an ankle tilt down, and a rocker. So not the best, <laughs> to be honest with you. Not the best at all. Uh, older mold, terrible face sculpt, terrible looking, not good. <laughs> not good at all. So we've seen this before, and we've reviewed this on the channel before. But um, it has a stand. It's supposed to be like dust kicking up or smoke kicking up, I'm guessing. And like... um has a ball peg that'll attach underneath once on it is posable on that ball peg which is nice this is a different base though than the older one that i had so i don't know but i think it's the same mold i can get that out we could take a look at it but yeah i mean it's done nicely we have uh shades of brown added on top of it we have some weathering added this uh it's a you know it's like that i can literally see the brush straight down um, the silver dry brushing looks good along the mechanical bits. A little heavy-handed there, <laughs> under there. It's like they were trying to get, I'm guessing they were trying to get this gun. They just, ah, what are you going to do? Um, I'm guessing that's a heavy-handed dry brush as well. It looks okay. You know, I think it'll get the job done. It could have used it right there on those tubes. Not sure why they didn't. Probably because they didn't have to paint anything silver there. There's some laziness in this set. And as I'm looking at, looking at it more and more, it's starting to poke its ugly head out more and more. 
but whatever. The handlebars are great. That's great dry brushing there. That looks fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, it's a decent enough sculpt. It presents fairly well. It's a speeder bike. It's not the first one we've seen. It probably won't be the last. And the good news is it's done fairly well. And you can kind of pose him like, you know, like he's flying through the air, but the joints do not hold it really. And you'll notice that over time it will kind of sink down. But once you get it to about there, it'll stay. And then you can even have him kind of sitting on it a little bit more properly. So that's all good. They come pre-banded with their hands on here. Uh, which is a nice touch, makes it easier, especially when I'm talking about it and trying to get pictures and stuff. So I'm doing this a bit out of order just to show you some of the basics surrounding it. All right, let's take a look at our second Ewok. I'm super excited. I love the head sculpt. I love the black kind of glossy eyes. I love the kind of head dress with the feather painted and the other two white feathers painted this bit. Black, the feathers there painted. All of it looks good. Decent enough sculpt. I love the little tie back there. I love the ears poking through. The head itself, I'm guessing it's a double ball pig. Feels like it. Not much down or up because of the headdress. You do get the swivel. I'm guessing that'll get better with time. For the fur, it's mostly just a lighter brown dry brush throughout, but it is effective and is on the joints and stuff as well, so it does look good. We have a disc hinge shoulder with the headdress. It gets you a little shy in 90 degrees, and then the swivel is kind of up to the mercy of the headdress as well. We have a bicep swivel where the elbow plugs in. The elbow does get you past 90 degrees, and then we have a wrist swivel as well, and the bottom, like the flesh tone of the hands are painted and the tone, I mean the fingernails. Same here. The toenails are painted here too for what it's worth and then we have single jointed uh, or single ball peg get you your swivel get you a little bit forward a little bit back you have the soft belt over top with the little doodads painted there the blade does not come out for what it's worth and then you have t-jointed ball joints for hips that get you pretty far out and forward and back fairly well you get a thigh swivel around the ball peg you also get an additional swivel at the knee the knees a single hinge that gets you 90 degrees back and then we have the feet you get an ankle tilt up, an ankle tilt down, and a rocker where it plugs in. So once again, I'm loving the Ewoks. Um, here's to hoping that more are coming. I'm sure they are. They've really kind of got this down pat. I can't believe we don't have a wicket yet. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with these guys so far. And there they are in the diorama. Except for Luke, because I just can't bring myself to use him when I have this Luke here. Um, the SHF. But... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they look good. They look, especially in the environment and stuff, even Solo's trench coat's looking pretty good. Leia holding on to her helmet. You know, no issues. I even gave the Ewok uh, the spear from this guy since he came with a ton of weapons that he can't, you know, completely hold. I gave him a little spear. He should have come with a weapon, to be fair. It's another criticism of mine. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy with that. What's not to, what's not to be happy with there? Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives because I actually have a lot to say here. We'll start with Solo. Face looks weird from the front. The hair doesn't sit flush on the head. I got a warped left leg. I got two holding hands, one weapon. I got glossy boots, but the shoes are flat. Very, very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Let's move on to Leia. I got paint smudges on the face. I got a very weird abdomen. I'm willing to let that go. And she's probably the best of the set overall. Moving on to Luke. The head sculpt is terrible. Terrible. Atrocious. It's really, really bad. One of the worst I've ever seen of Hamill and that is saying something because people struggle to get him right hot toys included on top of that he has a lightsaber with no hook on his belt to hang the lightsaber from and other than that it's just kind of the old style body which is showing its age and then the Ewok is really well done for the most part we're still learning our way around the head articulation given the headdress and then we have the speeder bike which is ultimately fine but heavy handed on the paint at times so yeah it's, it's kind of overall it's like a disappointing set it's like the ambition is there but the actual pull off is not that's not to say it's without positives though i love the camo on all of them i wish i had solo in his camo here leia's face sculpt and paint is great solo's face from certain angles is good plus the arms work well on solo and the ewok works really well across the board so if you're going to get these in individual releases i'm not sure they'll do the ewok i'm sure they will at some point i can definitely recommend leia han is a soft recommend i do not recommend luke and get as many ewoks as you can always hope that helps thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time, take care.